Here's evidence we really are moving into the space age. But we're not driving to a lunar outpost. Those weird domes, capped like snowy plum puddings, are the eyes and ears of the West's defense. It's not the moon, but a remote Yorkshire moor we're visiting. An out-of-the-way spot, summer or winter. We've come to RAF Filingdales, where even the CO, Group Captain Wright, has to go through an identity check before he can start his day's work. Turning inside each of the three great radomes, a giant radar scanner keeps watch on the 3,000 miles to the north and east of Britain. This is the Ballistic Missile Early Warning System, B-MUSE for short. The radomes that look so out of this world are really a sophisticated form of umbrella designed to give all weather protection for the day and night vigil. When you enter the radome, you're in air pressure, just one pound per square foot above outside conditions. This keeps out rain and dirt from the delicate electronic instruments. This is where that famous minimum four-minute warning could come from. No missile could escape this RAF manned listening device. And the power that comes through the aerial is so great that only authorized personnel are allowed into this inner sanctum of Britain's defenses. Before he can go up into the aerial, Group Captain Wright has made certain that the radiation level's safe. The scanner turns in an air-conditioned atmosphere because in the control room, a careful watch is kept on pressure and temperature. Snowstorms or heat waves can't affect the delicately balanced precision equipment. And B-Muse is in constant contact with North America's early warning system in Alaska and Greenland. Together they form a triple check on everything that happens in the airspace over the Western world. Colonel Hunt of the United States Air Force takes part today in this all-hours vigil. In this space-age world of split-second decisions, there can be no time for mistakes and no time to count the consequences. So everything the aerials pick up is fed into computers that are programmed to recognize a hostile missile. Only then would Britain's force of B-bombers be alerted, the last automatic link in an intricate chain of events that's designed to prevent an event. You might think there's nothing more sublime than the sight of a Vulcan bomb.